Welcome back everyone. Let's continue writing our saga to fetch all the fruits. So what's gonna happen is let's go here to the text editor to app.js. So in component did mount, we call this dot drops that fetch fruits, right? This is a bound action creator that dispatches the action fetch fruits requested. Now we have a middleware that's listening and would we'll take the latest action type so fetch fruits requested it's listening for this action right so when it gets it okay I'm gonna call fetch fruits so to illustrate that let's put a console log inside this generator function called fetch fruits I'm going to just say generator function fetch fruits was called action. I'm going to console log the action, okay? Simple console log. Uh, why is it doing this? Anyway. Oh, it does not have a Yoda. Okay, I don't care. Right now, right? Uh, let's keep going. So I just did a console log to see if it's actually going here. That's what, all we care about. Is it actually calling this generator function? Let's go. Um back to the browser so we can see function star was called at the action fetch fruits requested that's great now what we're going to do in the middleware is the following uh, let me just break the line here you can have the console log or not you can delete it if you want now so we need to make a HTTP request to get all the fruits right so we're gonna do that API find all, right? Uh, you can do find all, and then you call it here, that's one way. And it's a pretty simple function, you don't need any arguments or anything. You're just gonna say uh, find all. Let's import it here, import find all with the braces from dot api dot slash api now if you call this as so it's going to get the records but it's not going to do anything so you have to put that in a variable so let's say fruits is that right now you have to keep in mind that find all is returns a promise so you have to resolve this promise like you have to handle this promise usually with a then uh, or a wait if you have an async function but then what exactly do we how we do it with the generator function and the redux saga way so the redux saga way it's actually to isolate all kinds of statements into into redux saga uh, like uh, commands for example in this case it will be a call to a function so the redux saga command will be call and what we do in Redux Saga is we give instructions to the middleware, but the middleware is in charge of executing those instructions. So if you want to fetch from an API, I'm just going to give the middleware an instruction to call a function. And I'm not be going to be responsible for actually calling that function. We're going to leave that to the middleware. If you want to learn more about that, I recommend you go to the documentation for Redux Saga. Redux saga, redux saga.js.org. Uh, you can look here at declarative declarative effects. Uh, I think there's an API actually. Never mind. You go down here, API reference, and there's many things here. And there's effect creators. We call this is the one I'm talking about. It's the call effects creator. So it's a description that instructs the middleware to call the function with args as arguments. So we just give instructions to the middleware to perform some action. Uh, and here what we want to do is not uh, do this like so. We want to give an instruction to call to find all. Uh, we can do like so. We can say call with the function definition, not the call. And this is going to give you... Uh, instruction. Uh, to illustrate that I want to do a console log again so instead of doing 
constructs here. I'm going to remove it. I just want to tell you what it looks like. I want to let you know, show you how what it looks like. So let's first import call from Redux Saga slash FX. Then we're going to do let's comment out this console log for the action. And uh, let me put a Let me put a yield here so it stops complaining. Okay, so we're going to do a console log. When you say call find all, what does it give us? What does this guy give us? I want to know. That's what we want to know to better understand this thing called call in Redux Saga. Go back to the browser, to your app. Now, if you look at this object right here, so it's an object has a property called call. Now this property called call, you can see there's an fn property with the function find all, and there are the arguments to the function. We don't have any arguments, so it's empty, right? So it's an instruction for the Saga middleware to execute. If you look at the API reference, there's many notes about it here and so on. You can read it if you want. Better understand it. Now I would like to point out this detail here. So we are making a call to a function called find all that returns a promise. So if the result of that call is a promise, the Saga middleware so it will suspend the generator will pause the function right until the promise is resolved then it's gonna assign return that resolve value okay now in the case of an error it's going to throw an error inside the generator if the promise is rejected so this is a very important piece of information here in their documentation so you Read it carefully to better understand it. Anyway, getting back to what we had before. So we're going to yield a call to find all. Now we want to put this guy in a variable. Like so. Oops. I don't want to yield right here. Um, so I call. And then what am I going to do? Once I get all the fruits, I am going to emit an action that everything succeeded. But how can I emit an action in Redux Saga? That's another effect called put, P-U-T. So you're going to put or dispatch an action of type fetch fruits succeeded. Okay. Now, you have to give a payload with the actual fruits, the data, right? So I'm going to give fruits, the data as the payload. And I forgot the comma right here. Now, let's import put from Redux Saga slash effects. Oops. So we learn another effect called put. The put is like dispatch. So it will give an instruction, okay? An instruction to dispatch this action of this type and with the payload fruits and okay let's put a yield here and then let's see what happens let me just check here save and uh, actually before we go on Let's talk about what we did so we can go to the next lesson. We learned two effects. We learned the call and the put. So in the Redux Saga way of doing things, you're giving instructions to the middleware instead of actually performing those instructions yourself. For example, an HTTP request or a function call in our case. We don't want to call the function right away. We want to let the middleware call it. So we use the call effect, give it the function, and if you have any arguments, you put it as a second argument here. I don't have any. It could be the idea of some fruit. If I wanted to find one, 
but I don't have any arguments, so I'm just going to leave it like so. Um, this guy is going to give that instruction, the middleware calls it, and then it's going to, if it, since find all returns a promise, it's going to return the value resolved by the promise. Now we're done with that. Uh, we're going to do uh, dispatch the action fetch for it succeeded because everything went well. And then we're going to the payload the fruits, okay? So this is it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. We're going to look more into this uh, saga implementation. See you then.